Hey, so back with part two of the bases loaded stars and rookies box. 250 cards. All kinds of cards. Tops, Fleer, Donruss, and Upper Deck. So, in part one, not really anything great. I mean, we did get a uh, Robin Yount card, but that was... It was it wasn't a special it was a common card and you know nothing special. It's from the tail end of his career, so it's not even a rookie card or anything, but all right, so let's hope we have better luck in part two. Here we go. Mickey Tettleton. He's a decent catcher for the Tigers. Another Dave Henderson card that we got in uh, part one. Tops. I don't remember if the last one was the first card was Tops. But Randy Myers. Same, another card that we got in the last one. Dave Martinez, another one that we got in the last one. <laughs> Again, not sure if it's, you know, I don't remember if it was the same card, but Chris Hammond, Arlen's. Julio Valera, Angels, back when they were the California Angels, back before Angels in the Outfield came out. Um, Andy Eusebio. Or Tony Eusebio Astros. Mike Neal A's. Ooh, Jeff Nelson. Mariners. He was uh a key reliever on the Yankees teams in the late 90s that won the World Series. Ooh, we got a double card. Rick Oud and Major Cummings. Coming Attractions. Woody Williams. Willie Blair. Joe Orsalak, Mets, X, that's a name. We have Bill Picota.
Graves, Chris Navholes, Expos, Corey Bailey and Scott Hatterberg, Red Sox. Scott Hatterberg sounds familiar to you. That's because he was one of the focal points of the uh, movie Moneyball. Even though uh, I think that movie did a big disservice to uh, they didn't mention they the movie made it sound like Scott Hatterberg was a big reason why the A's were so good when it was really because they had Jason Giambi and Miguel Tejada. They didn't mention those two guys that much. Uh, Carl Rhodes, Cubs. Bob Zupchich, Red Sox. No wonder the Red Sox weren't good for all those years. We got Pat Borders, Blue Jays. It's a pretty good card. I mean, pretty good player. Not anything great. Scott Fletcher. Collector's Choice Upper Deck. Chris Carpenter. <clears throat> Rangers. It's different Chris Carpenter. Not the really good one. Different spelling. Got Bob Wickman, Yankees. So, interesting, Bob Wickman was on the Yankees, but people know him from the Indians because, but he, he was on the 96 Yankees, I believe, when they won the World Series. Greg Harris, Rockies. Derek May. Archie Chanfroco. Padres. Scott Stahoviak. It's a cool card. I mean, it's not an actual signature, but it's like an engraved sort of signature kind of thing. I mean, I don't. Would you would you call would you call that engraved or I don't know. I guess he would. Uh, we got Gabe White, Expos. Rob Dibble. Reds. We've got on Hell Miranda Brewers Then we got Jeffrey Hammonds Orioles 
another decent player, role player back in the day, in the 90s. Jayhawk Owens, Padres top prospect. Or, no, wait. Jayhawk Owens, Rockies. Then we got Jason Thompson, Padres top prospect. You know, that that's the thing about baseball is very few players who get drafted reach the majors. You know, very or if they reach the majors, they play like a couple of seasons. And so, you know, that's why it's a gamble. Ooh. Oh, never mind. Jose Silva. Blue Jays. Bill Polfisher, Mets. Frank Rodriguez, Red Sox. Mark Barcelo. Twins. Yeah, Twins top prospect. Pat Watkins. Cesar Devores. Orioles top prospect Todd Dunn Brewers top prospect Kelly Wunsch Scott Champarino, Monty Ferris, another expansion draft card. Brett Barbary. Expansion card, Marlins. Junior Felix, expansion card, Marlins. Calvin Reese, that's a cool card too. Reds, see? Jason Beer, White Sox, it's another cool card. I don't know if these are worth anything though. Yeah. Ooh, Alan Trammell. Nice.
Tigers, Alan Trammell. Should, wait, did he? Yeah, actually, I think he was just inducted to the Hall of Fame, I think. Just voted in uh, by the Veterans Committee. We've got Todd Williams, Dodgers. It's, looks kind of like an old school type of photo they were going for. It's another a Bowman. Wait. Trey Beeman. Trey Beeman, Pirates. We've got, who's this? Bill Van Landingham. San Francisco Giants. Jeff D'Amico. That's the Brewers, I'm pretty sure. Yes. Jeff D'Amico. Voice Ilsley. Chicago Cubs. Tim Costo. Ravello Menzanillo, Pirates. Todd Walker. Cool card, 94 draft class. Frank Rodriguez. Joe Vitello. Sean Barry. And it's Joey Eichen or Aishin uh, Expose no longer a team. Well, they are just in Washington named the Nationals. Bobby Witt, ooh. A's. Bobby Witt Jr. is a top prospect in baseball now. So that's kind of cool. Possible father-son. I mean, already a father-son uh, baseball. You know, very rare, but it would be cool if Bobby Wood Jr. makes reaches the majors and then, like, you know, they could enter that father-son Terry Steinbeck. Mark Loretta. Another pretty good player. Mark Langston. Damon Hollins. Darren Burden.
Mike Bush. He spells his name weird. That's interesting. It's like a fold over kind of thing. See inside for a scratch off game sweepstakes. You think this is still valid? But it's cool, we got Griffey and Bonds on there. Probably like, you know, if you win, you get to go to the All-Star game or something. Then we got uh, Joe McGrain, who now works for MLB Network. I believe he's still there. Julian Tavares. Craig Paquette. Oh, another one of those engraved type cards with his signature. Oh, and the other one was to the uh, Tavares. This one is to Dick Schofield. Schofield. Bobby Thigpen, another one with the signature. Jeff Reardon. That's interesting. Another Jeff Reardon. Same with that card. <laughs> uh, we got Charlie Huff. Joe Gray. Bruce Ruffin. Eddie Tavancy. Never. Ooh, Eric Davis. He's a good player. Uh oh. It's hurting time. Big hurt. Frank Thomas. Uh oh. It's just a checklist. <laughs> Not a right. Paul Wagner. Rusty Meacham. Don't name your kid Rusty. Larry Cassian, Steve Decker, Scott Bullet, Mark Langston. 
That's a decent player. John Havian. Jim Bullinger. Brian Bohannon. Jeff Houston. Matt Noakes. He was a uh, bust. People thought he was going to be the Yankees catcher of the future for a while there, I think. I don't know. Again, before my time. We've got Alex Arias. Marlins. Kurt Man Warren. Giants. Brian Hickerson. Darren Lewis. Pretty good player. At the time. Then we got Chris Hammond, Jeff Mutis, Steve Frey and Pedro Bourbon Braves. So, eh, but you know, I think this was probably a box that was put together by. Uh, you know, a card store that opened a pack of card, a bunch of boxes of cards, and then just put this stuff no one cared about in the box. Yeah. You know, and resold it. So. You know, nothing, nothing too spectacular in the box. You know, decent players, but, and I mean, Robin Yount's a Hall of Famer, but, and Alan Trammell and Luke Whitaker, but, I mean, Luke Whitaker is not a Hall of Famer, I don't think. But he should be. The two of, you know, Lou Whitaker and uh, Alan Trammell were a double play combo for the Detroit Tigers. So, you know. Oh, I put this the wrong way. But, uh, yeah, so. You know, it's it's something that like kids pick up, really. That's what it ultimately is. It's something for kids to go, Oh look, it's two hundred and fifty cards for twenty five dollars. That's ten cents a card. It's pretty good, but you know, 
these cards are probably worth 10 cents. So, if that. You know, you could probably resell this for 25 bucks, maybe. Uh, yeah, I mean, actually, I did order a, uh, I wanted to check it out. I did order a Bowman Blaster and a a Bowman Blaster box and a Bowman Mega box. So if you guys don't know what those are, those are boxes that are sold. They're sold at Target, but they sell out instantly. And they have a lot of rookies. Most, I, I think everyone's a rookie or prospect. And they have a couple of cards in there that you can get that are worth like $200, $300. So I thought I'd take a chance and look into and get those and see what they were like. And it was only, uh, I think the two boxes were $80 total. So, you know, even if you don't get the top hit, the $200 cards, you know, you still have a decent shot because they are sought after boxes. And because they are all rookies and prospects that, you know, you hang on to them and if a couple of them hit, you know, those are good ones to have. Um, but yeah, hit that like button below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, hit that notification bell so you're notified when I go live or when I drop a new video. And leave a comment below. What do you think? What do you think of the whole box? Did you watch part one and two? If you've only watched part two, go back and watch part one. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. It was lying around. I didn't go buy it. I wouldn't have bought it. But, and I thought maybe there was like a, an old player who, you know, you never know. But uh, yeah, I'll keep digging through the stuff I have and making videos of them, of it, and uh, show you guys. So. On Saturdays, I have uh, I'm going live on Saturdays on my channel, this channel, talking comic books, what I got over the during the week, what I picked up, and I usually have at least one other person on there with me. Um, and then, you know, I, I, my goal is I want to have at least one person who is more knowledgeable about comics than I am to tell me what I got and, you know, just talk and, uh, you know, Whoever is on with me shows off what they got during the week. You know, it's a cool, uh, it's a fun time. Even if you're not into comic books, check it out. You might learn something. And then on Sunday, on Two Boys in Their Pops channel, 
we have a sports show. It's me, two boys in the pops. We'll be popping Fox Crown, Pop Scott, sometimes Funkalos, sometimes Mr. Techbot, sometimes other people. Now that there's 10 people on allowed on StreamYard, it can get crazy. So check it out. We had Adam Beer to pop on. We'll have more people like that on, you know. Once sports actually get going, we'll be talking about those particular sports and stuff that comes up. You know, the games throughout the week, stuff like that. But, you know, in the meantime, it's just a fun hang. We go off on tangents. It's fun. All right? See you guys.